have a great technology company coming all the way from Japan, uh, brought to us by the Thai Tokyo delegation. It's a pleasure to have Hiro Takahashi. Takahashi san, it's a pleasure to have you. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. I want to start uh, asking you you have two great technologies going on, and um, you are an ex Intel Japan employee, and you left like most entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who see an opportunity in the market and mm -hmm. have worked so many years. Um, I think I can relate to uh, the, the burning desire by, by which I think you left. Most entrepreneurs I speak to, they say that, you know, we're working for a bigger corporation, we mm -hmm. saw an opportunity, a technology, and the only way out uh, for this product was that if I step out and do something, mm -hmm. uh, you took that step, I wanted to learn from you first what these technologies are about that you're working on, mm -hmm. and then I'll follow up with you know, why you did that. Okay. Uh, our company, actually, I established a corporation in 1996, and um, the corporation name right now is a DTS, Data Transmission System, which is I designed this technology. Uh, when I was in Intel, I used to uh, the design or the more research work as the, uh, the supercomputer area. The supercomputer is a big sub machine, and they use multiple CPUs and they communicate each CPUs. And then the friend of mine and me was designed a high speed bus architecture at that time. And then we study a lot at that time. But uh, uh, the, now it's uh, the internet or you know the way basis uh, error and the computer system itself was changed and i i have many idea of the concept at that time then i tried to so the, you know create my own idea then i need to so you know make a own so organization that is the one so uh, my motivation to establish a corporation uh, and then i established a corporation in japan first 1996 but uh, Japan, uh, the, so mentality point of view, the Japan is a very more, what can I say, uh, very conservative the society. And not so easy to so find out cooperation. So uh, then I was thinking that so the USA is a good potential market. And also, I tried to do some of my challenge uh, to USA. But still, so I. The, f the first time I, op I established a corporation in Japan, I tried to earn some money to run the corporation for years. Then, year over 2000, I changed my organization, my direction, and the uh, research work and the design work, I just concentrate that area. Then, try to launch a uh, new technology from the United States. That is uh, my dream, so, <laughs> and I did it. <laughs> I stayed on the way. So let me ask you to touch the subject of the cultural differences because mm -hmm. I want to bring you back to Silicon Valley eventually, but let's go back to Japan where you started all this. Right. Um, if, if I were to look at the broader perspective of Japanese culture for a young entrepreneur starting out, mm -hmm. uh, if you were to pick you know, your research and development, your funding, your marketing, and your outreach to your customers, mm -hmm. what do you think are the couple of biggest challenges more than the other? Uh, the biggest challenge is uh, I come to think of it my so you know the, my experience. Uh, the technology itself is uh, maybe somebody's idea. Like me, I was designer and the engineer, and uh, not so hard work. But uh, most uh, of the hard work for me is uh, not a financial point, the financial point of view. The most of our different difficulty was uh, how we can so so participate in the community in those market. For example, if we design a new technology, but uh, we need to so, you know, exchange change some of uh, the money or the financial, then we have to participate some community. So if we do just to concentrate the Japanese market, then I'm Japanese, much easy to so, the, you know, enter the Japanese market. But uh, if I come to the United States, and uh, I have to be a member is community in the United States. This is the most difficult point, but this is still on, on the way to challenge it. Yeah. You have offices here in, in Silicon Valley. Yes. And the very fact that you're attending the world's largest conference for entrepreneurs here in the Valley yes. is itself a, a validation for your technology, I mm. think. So let's spend a minute or so to understand the technology that you're actually working on, which I think is very disruptive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the technology which I designed, the DTS, data transmission technology, uh, 
So present time computer technology is to come from so 1945, 46, the Neumann type basis computer. It's more programmable basis. And this a computer is a computer machine. But the, right now, the market demand is the different. I mean, the communication machine is computer. The computer is for communication machine. And uh, I change some architecture inside, but I cannot change all of them. That's why I designed the, the multiple layer control uh, programs, which called DTS. And basically, a, a technology is a software. Runs on the Linux operating system and the Windows operating system. But uh, uh, to explain to the customer or people, it's not so easy because untangible product and just a concept basis. That's why uh, four years ago, I got a fund from Japan and then I tried to make our technology to be a somewhat intangible model. So, which means I designed so the DTS chip and which is the six orbit basis uh, bus. And I designed a specific, special hybrid versus SSD using our technology. This is just a device, just a standard device, just to insert a standard computer and a computer system architecture was changed by my idea of the concept. So then the, the thing from people, oh, this is a high speed device, that's it. But the uh, concept is my idea. So the people doesn't know my idea, but uh, they can get good benefit from my idea. This is my strategy. And then, uh, uh, the fortunately, this device is very successful, and uh, we got the good uh, the financial, uh, the customers of Japanese government project, and we sold a couple, couple of thousands of units. And uh, this is one of the earnings for us. And now we change the next direction. Uh, the direction. And the uh, DTS technology is a very foundation technology for computer systems. And it can be implement any type of computer. Uh, the PC was servers, the huge big system, and also mobile phones. And we already successful with our porting work with mobile phones in NTT Docomo. And um, then we announced the next challenge is a semantic basis, internet or wave basis idea of the concept, which is using uh, the ontology technology. I want to uh, ask you how you address another big challenge once you have your funding done and mm -hmm. you have the product developed. How do you reach your market and penetrate that? Uh, there are a couple of so ways. One is instead of we are looking for a good partner as OEM the partner in the United States. And then number two, our technology is a very uh, foundation technology, but uh, uh, I'm looking for something application or service from our uh, top of our, so the foundation technology. And uh, for example, uh, the security is one of them. Other one is uh, the video streaming or broadcasting. Uh, the, right now, the broadcast is the TV or radio station, but they are going to be fire level, uh, the communication, the IP level com communication. They need more high speed, so uh, the data distribution, plus the data isolation or security business area. Uh, this is uh, one of the good applications for us. And the other one is the social network. Uh, the, right now, Facebook, the many uh, the people chattering about is the social network. But uh, those ones need to more interoperable communication, plus uh, data isolation. Because of data mining, data isolation, the people need this area is the most important. Our technology can be do it. So I was thinking that if we could get some fund, our technology base, so the facility, and runs on those services model. This kind of uh, the business model right now, we have to think about it. Hey, Takashi-san, it's a pleasure and wishing you all the best. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Pazi.